Hello fine friends, Paul Gordon here, hairy American troll, fine art of face dancing. I want to talk to you for a moment about lighting, okay? This is a three-point lighting fix. It also happens to be a two-point lighting fix. You don't need to buy anything, okay? I'm holding my, uh, I'm holding my microphone here. It's a simple little Shure mic. It uh, picks up with more clarity um, than anything that you have in, uh, on your, your normal earbuds. But that's besides the point. We're going for lighting right now, okay? Um, so like I said, two-point light design or three-point light design. You choose, and I'm going to show you what this is, okay? I'm going to show you by starting you out in darkness, and then we are going to build what we need to build, okay? So give me a moment. I'm putting my mic down right over here, and I'm going to turn off the lights. I turn off one, and I turn off another, and I turn off my last one. Okay. So, <laughs> ooh, darkness. Okay, so here we are. I am now going to turn on one light. It is not the light in front of the camera, okay? This is a light that is to the side and to the right. Here we go. Okay. Here we are. I'll bring this up. Good. So, this light is off to the side and front, okay? Side and front gives me a little bit of, um, it, gives me a, it gives me a little bit of drama because there's some cross shadow, okay? The cross shadow is important. The cross shadow cannot be gotten, here's the light, off to my side, okay? There it is. If I had one of those circle lights and I put it right behind the camera, it would flatten out everything on my face and it would lose all the dramatic cross shadow. However, stick with me here because this is not about only one light. This is about more than one light. I am now going to turn my second light on, it's directly to my left, directly to my left, 180 degrees. So this one is at a 45 or a 30 or a 60, whatever it is, it's over in this direction. I'm going to turn on the other light directly to the other side. One moment. Okay, pick this up. Now, you can see the shadow on the, on the wall behind me. It's over there, there's the shadow, okay? But here I have light coming from one direction and I have more light coming directly from the other side. And there's an important quality to the difference in the light. One of them has a light bulb that's very, very white, that one. The other has a light bulb that is more of a, um, reddish, orangish, cool, you know, kind of a uh, warm feel, a warm temperature, okay? And that is this one. Now, if you don't have different color light bulbs, you can actually just take very, very light fabric of red or pink or orange or whatever it is and just drape that very, very light fabric over the light to the side. And that gives, you can see, there's a difference to the temperature of the quality of the light on one side as compared to the other. Okay, now I'm going to give you the magic little special sauce, which is a three-point lighting. Bear in mind, I have only used two office lights, one directed from one place and one directed from the other place. That is all you need. Now we are going to add a third light, and this is something really special. We use this in theater all the time. It makes you pop. It's back, it's, it's high backlight. Okay, I'm gonna show you.
Okay, the high backlight. What does this do? This brings out my shoulder and a halo on my head. Okay, it's directed, this one happens to be up and back. Okay, it could be directly behind me, in which case I would have both shoulders. But I don't have that right here. I wanted to show you this particular design because it adds a certain understanding of drama. What's so good about this? It brings out cross shadow, it brings out dimension, and it makes you pop out of the space. And that has value. You don't need a big fancy rig to do that. But, trust me, if you hired a professional lighting and video crew, they would bring a bunch of lights and they would do exactly this. They would arrange the various intensities and color temperatures to achieve this sort of effect. They would create a pop and cross shadow and depth. Three-point lighting or two-point lighting. And the rest of it is just lighting your room and lighting your composition of your scenography, whatever it is. I've had three of these exercises. One in camera height fix, two in composition of your frame, and three in the lighting. All three of those together combined bring out everything you need with stuff you have at home. You don't need to buy anything else. Oh, by the way, I mentioned the circle light straight on front wash out of the face ruin the depth and cross shadow. And you can, if you have one of those lights, you can use it for one of these. Just don't put it right behind your camera. Make drama. Make interesting cross shadow. Make interesting composition. And please, put the camera at eye level. Paul Gordon, Harry American Troll, fine art of face dancing. Um, Copenhagen, Denmark, World Headquarters. <laughs> Look forward to speaking with you. My best to you. Not so hard now, is it? Anyone can do it. You can look great. Trust me. You look fantastic already. See ya.